I want to talk about the, the prophet. It's a lot of people think that the preachers and prophets and teachers will tell, tell them that they are a false prophet or a false teacher. They won't tell you that because they are deceived themselves and they deceive the people. See, there's a lot of people can't see it. And no preacher gonna tell you that they're teaching you, telling you false thing. You know, it's just common sense. And no prophet gonna tell you, I am a false prophet. They won't tell you that they'll, they'll tell you I'm a true prophet. Just like the preachers, they'll tell you I'm teaching the truth. You know, that's the first thing they'll tell you. You know, the preacher they ain't gonna be in the church hall and tell you that they're teaching you, telling you false thing. I mean, you're supposed to know that this common sense. But the God deceived them, you know, because they are deceived. You know, they don't really want the truth. You know, they speak from their own heart, not out of the word of God. You know, turn to uh, I think Ezekiel. Uh, Chapter 14 and verse 9. God tell you. See, it's God's doing. He deceived the prophet. It's, uh, in verse 9, it says, If the prophet be deceived when he had spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. See? God said, if the prophet be deceived, he's the one that deceived that prophet. See, there's a lot of people can't see that and can't understand that. See, if the prophet be deceived, God the one that deceived. See, the prophet be thinking he's telling you the truth about everything. So he you tell you the truth about a lot of things, but some of the things he be off, you have to know that. You know, see, if the thing follow not what he said, that means he's a false prophet. You know. Even though he might say, like a person might say, oh, Jesus Christ is coming, you know, he might use God's name. Yeah, he is coming, but if he say a certain time he is coming, and if that don't come to pass at that time, then he's a false prophet. See, that's what I'll be trying to show you. You know, but everybody know Jesus Christ is coming back, you know, but when you put a certain length of time, certain date and stuff like that, then you're a false prophet, just like Hananiah's. You know, God says it's going to be 70 years, and I says it's going to be in the space of two or four years, you know, that the Lord will take the yoke off of the nation, off of Israel. So, and that didn't happen. So he was false. God said this year he shall die, and he died that year. All right. He goes to... Uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 30, what the Lord said there about the prophets. He said, Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. See, that's what a lot of prophets do, steal words from other people, from their neighbors, you know. All right, then he said, verse 31, said, Behold, I am against the prophets, Say the Lord that used their tongues and said, He said, See, it says a lot of people do, a lot of preachers do that. Say the Lord told me to tell you this and that, and God have not said that, you know. And prophet be saying, God said this and, and this and that, you know, and God have not spoken, you know. God is speaking now through His Word. You know, when you got to send the two witnesses, like like Moses, and like the two witnesses in, in chapter 11 of Revelation, you know, God could be speaking directly to them. You know, then they're going to be prophesied, like it was with Moses. All righty. And it's verse 32 saying, Behold, I am against them that prophesy falsely. I mean, prophesy false dreams say the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness, yet I sent them not. 
nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, say the Lord. See? See, say he not sent them, nor command them to be, to do prophesy. All right. You go to, uh, I think it's in uh, Job chapter 12, at verse 16, it says, With him is wisdom and strength. The deceived and the deceiver are his. See? The Lord said, The deceived and the deceivers are his. See? See? The person be deceived. The Lord said, I'm the one that deceived. The prophet be deceived. Say, I'm the one that deceived that prophet. See? That's God's doing. All righty. We will go to. Uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you listen to a, a video about give you an example, a video I mean a, a tape about a false prophet. Let me see. <laughs> when Israel became a nation and the generation is 70 years. So about 2018, he said, the generation won't make it to 2018. See what I'm saying? And that is not true. In 2018, is here now. See, he's a false prophet. But he don't want to admit that he's a false prophet. See, he jumped to the end too quick. He talking about, you know, putting no date in something. That's putting a date in something. You're saying, God say it won't make it to 2018. won't go that far. See, he said, God used God's name. I mean, you're a false prophet. Now, if you haven't, if you weren't willing to use God's name, it'll be a different story. But he used God's name. He's saying, God say it won't make it. It won't go that far. See. I mean, you're a false prophet, just like Hananiah. Hananiah said, the Lord said, you know, in the space of two, four years, you know, that God was going to take the yoke off the nation. And God said, it could be 70 years. See, he said, God said, but God didn't say that. So you got to pay attention. Pay attention to God's word. And pay attention to what these men be saying, the prophet be telling you. That's how you know a false prophet. You know, I'm going to let you listen to a, another one. Let's see it here. Get this right. You might understand what I've been talking about. Wild kid. Listen to me carefully now. I'm going to make a statement now. And I'm on shortwave radio. Mark of the beast, and because Terry, Terry Cook has said so. Amen. Now, how you like that? Amen. 
like that. Uh, he said, because Larry Bates has said so. And because Tex Mars is saying so. Uh, are you following me? Yes, I because you see, they, they, they have doctrines that are antichrist. Right. And, and why wouldn't Satan like to camouflage his mark of the beast? <laughs> and he got it. And, and I've always told you the spirit of the antichrist is going to work from within the church. Right. And these guys are within the church. Certain men have crept in unaware. They're not teaching holiness. Right. The text Mars does not preach against sin. No. You never hear him talk about sin in the life of the people. That's right. You never hear Terry Cook talk about sin. No. You never hear Bill Cooper, Cooper talk about sin. No. You never hear Larry Page talk about sin. Right. The one thing that, that tears out the heart of God, they won't even touch it. You can, hey, brother, you can refuse all the mark of the beast, and you still got sin in your heart. You're going to hell. Yeah. They're going to hell. And that's the reason why I will not let them come on here and put fear and doubt whatever they want to put their heart into the people and, t and then tell them they're not even going to be here. Yeah. That's a lie. That's right. It's a lie, and I will not have it. That's right. Now, I, I'd rather have Dr. John Coleman because at least he won't deal with that. Right. You follow me? Yes. If I have, that's why if I have somebody, I'll have, I'll have somebody like Dr. John, John Coleman who will not get on and say, well, now, praise the Lord. Now, we ain't going to be here, right. or we're going to be caught out. Right. They're lying. Absolutely. They are lying. Amen. And I can't say that any plainer than that. That's one plain you can get. It. And the mark of the beast is not going to be the computer chip. Amen. Now, how do you like that? I like it. I made a profound statement. And I promise you before Almighty God, the mark of the beast will not be the computer chip. Praise God. Now, it's going to be involved in the computer. Amen. You understand my point? Yes. But they don't have to put a chip in you. Right. All they got to do is put a mark on you. That's right. That's See, so the mark of the beast that I, I recorded in, in 1985, 84, 80, uh, 94, 95, I recorded that. He was talking to David Jackson at that time. He said, about the mark of the beast will not be a computer chip. Now he's saying that the mark of the beast will be a computer chip because he's seen what's coming out right now, the mark of the beast is being a computer chip. See? See how he trying to change? But he doesn't use God's name. He promised the people about using God's name that the mark of the beast will not be a, the computer chip. See, that's how you know a false prophet. If the thing follow not what he said, that's mean a person is a false prophet. You see, if he called himself a prophet. All right, let me turn to what the Lord said in Deuteronomy chapter 18 in verse 22. And God's tell you, see, you have to know God's word and understand that's how you know false preachers, false teachers, by the word of God. If you understand God's word, that's why God wants you to search out his word and to get an understanding. And Deuteronomy 22, I mean 18 in verse 22, he said, when a prophet uh, when, they, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, see, he say, well, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptively, thou shalt not be afraid of him, see. See, I mean, the false prophet, this is what Hananiah did. He said, uh, in the space of two, four years, that God could take the yoke off the nations. But God said, it could be 70. He told Jeremiah, it could be 70 years. See, and he said, the Lord said, in the space of two, four years, you could take the yoke off the nation. But it was not true. See, God said, this year you shall die. He taught the people to be rebellious. See, it wasn't true. You know, that's how you know as a true prophet. This is like the prophet said, when Israel became a nation in 1940, the generation is 70 years. He said, won't get to 70 years. He said, God said it. He's using God's name. That's what you have to pay attention to. You know. See, and 2018 is here now. You know. Because in May, uh, 1948, in May, May 2018, you know, I mean, in May of 1948, I make mean, 70 years. 
in 2018 of May. Because when Israel became a nation, it was 1948, I think it was in May. So in 2018, in May, it'll make 70 years, and that just about here, it'll be two, three more months, you know. But he say even to 2018, your generation won't make it just to 2018. 2018 is already here. See, and then you know he's a false prophet, and the people be still following the man. They don't believe in what the man said. That's always will be like that, you know. Many people that are false are just like all these preachers now, you know. Joel Osteen, all that. The Pope of Rome, all that. And people be steady following. Millions and thousands of people be following them. And knowing the people is false, but they, but they don't read the Bible. They don't search out God's word. God be telling them. Let you know that they are false prophets. False teachers, whatever. If you go to God's word, you will find out these things. But if you don't go to God's word, you won't know it. It's like, you know, like I said, getting your driving license. If you don't study the book, you expect to pass the, the driving test. <laughs> you ain't going to pass it the average time. You know, it will deceive you. You know, same thing. You have to study God's word. God be telling you. You know, let you know. Take heed, let no man deceive you. You know, because people will deceive you. They'll come with a lot of truth, but a lot of things be false what they say. Some of the things might be false. Some of them have more truth than others. You know, you have to pay attention, you know, and read God's word and study God's word. It goes to uh, like Second Thessalonians, I think it's in Second Thessalonians, let's see. Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2, yeah, Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Chapter 2 and verse 11. You know, as they talking about here about the false prophet. And for and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. See? See. Because they love not the truth, it tells you that. You know, like in verse 10, it says, With all deceiving, they see the Satan deceive you all, all in different ways. You know, any way that he can. It says, With all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they all, that, that, that uh, they might be saved. See? But they receive not the love of the truth. See, they may really they don't want the truth. See, see if you really search for the truth, you will find out the truth by in God's word. You know, and just like uh, Daniel, Daniel was seeking the truth, and God opened up his understanding. What was going to be happening? You know, in the last day, because Daniel wanted to know. You know. That's just how it works. You know, you have to want the truth. You know, it's just like if you're going to college and going to school or college, you have to want to study and want to know that, you know, to learn. If you don't want to learn, well, you won't learn. It's the same, simple as that, you know. So well, that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today about these false prophets. Lord says there's going to be many false prophets in the last days. They will tell you they're telling you the truth. And all the time they be lying. You know, and a lot of things be the truth. But some of the things be false. You have to pay attention. You know, take heed. So you will know what's false and what is truth. You know, that's all I wanted to bring to y'all, to show y'all. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom.